A new chapter opening for the Whitby Fury. Looking sharp in those new uniforms set to take on their playoff nemesis from last season, the Wellington Dukes. Changes in Wellington as well as Scott McCrory, who did so much for Junior A hockey in Whitby, now at the helm of Duke Country. No scoring in the first. We go to the second. Whitby with the best chance early so far. The Dukes nearly put the puck in their own goal. Jonah Capriotti pounces before Matt Sherwin can get a poke at it. Austin Hewlett showing good things happen when you put the puck on the net. Capriotti handcuffed, perhaps this shot hit a stick on the way in. Hewlett will take them any way he can get them. It's his third of the season, it's 1-0. Before the period is out, the Dukes get even Teddy McGee using the screen and lifts a shot over Nate McDonald to tie the game at one. Third period, Jeffrey Gauld and Rizvan Mansurov with the chances to score. The puck will stay out of the goal, but Keegan Ferguson Handles the puck in the crease. That's a penalty shot. Mansuroff with the chance to put his team ahead, but Capriotti closing the five hole. Fury at the end of a PK now. Daniel Panetta putting the puck on the goal. It rolls across the line before Matt Martin can get a stick to it. Wellington takes the lead. Whitby on a power play now. Cross ice from Shane Bull to Gauld. Directed home by Matt Sherwin. His first Fury goal. Things are tied at two apiece. But the good times would only last so long. The Fury trying to kill a late penalty. McGee again through traffic. And this puck somehow finds its way to the back of the goal. Wellington adds an empty netter and gets Scott McCrory a win in his return to Whitby. The Dukes, they've been hot to start the season on quite a tear. Whitby having a little bit of trouble, especially in those third periods. They'll have to regroup and try again on Friday.